okay. Wow, I might be dehydrated. I really needed some fucking water. Don't worry, I'm just about to fucking die. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Lara, am I copy demon? Uh, <laughs> you better not be or else you get a fucking headache. Alright, the law. The last time on Phoenix Wright, uh, we got sentenced to fucking murder because a rich man said so. Or at least he's trying to sentence us. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. Time to eat the rich. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ha! P Phoenix, look! Oh. Prosecutor Edgeworth, stop staring at me with fish eyes. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. But does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, so you're saying I'm going to be guilty, end of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being fined and found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. And what the fuck is the point of the court of law, dumbass? All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Hedgeworth, you've changed. Oh, whoa, whoa, do you have backstory? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. Okay, I'm gonna kick your ass, but what's the backstory? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. You're not supposed to do that. That's always a bad idea. What? Okay, let's do this. You're not supposed to do that. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. God, I spent like an hour and a half doing demon girl voices. Now I have to go straight to old judge voice. Roger Cube! Okay, I'm ready. The prosecution is ready, your honor. The defense is ready, your honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Have you seen the crazy shit I've done, your honor? This is pancakes. Chocolate pancakes. Yes, your honor, I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. You know, isn't it suspicious to anyone that, like, this lawyer here was, like, getting close to the truth of the case, and then suddenly everyone's pointing fingers at him as, like, the witness? Like, he was getting too, clo tr too close to the truth of the case, so now they're like, no, you did it instead. Totally. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Because anime law! Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. What a fucking suck up! Great, he gets a show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. What a dumb fucking name. Oh, I really hate this guy. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Ew, he's so gross. Uh, your name. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name! Well, at least Edgeworth doesn't take his bullshit. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I mean, Blanco Nino? White boy? 
They call you white boy? I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corps. Did you know the victim is Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem. I tell you what you already know. Very well, Mr. White. We begin your testimony. I want to yeet this guy already. Don't worry. We will yeet him. With, with the, the, the full force of the law, he will be yachting. I can't rip this guy's testimony apart. I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Because you're an anime protagonist. Ho 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 ho. Stop shining. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. All right. All right. How am I going to destroy you today, sir? Let's see. It was about nine, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, or that's reading to you, some paper, some papers by the window. It's perusifying to nobody. And I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. He used to say that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. Spiky. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Or, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Wait, wait, did he say to the right? I remember this from yesterday. Yeah, he's perusifying. A bedlam. And she ran away. Wait, no. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Building across the way. Ah. Uh, hold it, I'm gonna press you. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. I understand that you are such a dick. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Mmm! He gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? I'm sure that you're a dick. As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Uh, perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ran to the left. Then ran to the right. This testimony's conflict. You, you, oh, you, I got you this time. You're fucking absolutely positively stupid, but fuck you. Wait right there. Mr. White, you dug your own grave. Because I pressed you into it. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. See, I even flipped this in Photoshop. Oh, it is simple. You have misheard her. We wrote this shit down, dumbass. I think not. Look at this paper. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. And the victim here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end! Why would she do that? Don't you find that odd? Ah! Oh, I love seeing you suffer. I really love seeing you suffer. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. Maybe she ran stage left. We really did see the victim run left. We did witness the killing. Wait a second! Mr. Roy! Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, White totally killed her, right? Like, he totally killed her. So if May saw him, saw her run to the right, 
and white was killing her, then he would have seen her run to the left because he was facing her. They're both right. Both witnesses are telling the truth. Ha, huh. ha, huh. I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. You put a fucking murderer on the stand again. Why do you keep doing this? What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. White, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. He was doing the crime, not viewing the crime. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Bay & Co, of course. Look at my smug fucking grin. It's law time. More specifically, he was standing here. Uh, <laughs> he was the victim. He got killed. <laughs> he was right here. Here. Take that. Take this K. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran from the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please. This is no time for jokes and ill taste. This is not a joke. I do this. This is my gimmick. That is where the killer was standing. Yeah, now you're putting it together, dumbass. Order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt! Mr. White! What are you suggesting? Put two and two together! He killed her! Urgh, rapscallion! Objection. Only I can object. Your objection voice sucks. The postulation is that the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. How much are they paying you? Oh, ho, ho. You provided us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Just a bit of perjury. This is perjury court. Might I be allowed to testify once more? Of course, you are very rich. That means you buy the law. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. But didn't she die from a single hit? You lying slut! That is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? I do not remember. Hmm, that does seem to make sense because I don't know how to read. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. <laughs> it's no use. Okay, wait. I'm just gonna give you... Yeah, okay. The final blow, right? Except, died from a blow from a blunt object. A blow! Objection. I'm objecting! J'accuse! Mr. White! The victim died from a single blow! I immediately knew this! How did you forget about this? What do you have to say to that? <laughs> Mr. White! Wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? That's not even a word! <laughs> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Yeah, because it's false. You're absolutely positively a shit. Your Honor, if you cast as a witness for a new testimony. No, let him lie. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. So I can coach him on how to lie next. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Justice! T yeah, justice is a team sport. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. You don't get to be coached on your lies. I'm dr dr drinking more water one sec.
what was the punishment demon again? I, was that judgment? I think that was judgment. I forgot her name. Mr. White. Oh, okay. Look at him crossing his arm there. Look at that look on his face. He looks like he just got put in fucking detention. Um, well, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then... You are literally just making this up on the spot. How is this not clear to everyone? She turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap! Hmm. Thwap indeed. She got fucking thwapped. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting good. Your face is gonna hurt soon. You literally punched me the other day. Deal with it! That is the sweet, sweet indigestion of anime law. This is almost over. I'll put you down soon. Okay. I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. That thing? What thing? You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh that? Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, very odd. Yeah, like, how would he have known what it was? It was, like, on the fucking floor. How would he have known it was a glass light stand? Mr. White. Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that. The witness will revise his testimony for the tenth time, because you can do that in perjury court. Okay, okay, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Hmm. Floor plants, right? Was lying on the floor when I looked, but the view from the window wouldn't have seen that. Look, there's not even any glass shards in the view of the, of the window. Those are all fucking bl bl petals from the, the, the plant. You, you did not see a light stand lying on the floor when you looked. You saw nothing but your crimes of it's objection! Mr. White! It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand! What? Look at this! These are the floor plants of the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look! You would have looked through the window at the office. This is the area you would have been able to see. Here! Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. You are such a bad liar! You just lie every single time! What do you have to say to that? Uh, er, ridiculosity! It's literally fact, Mr. White. If you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. Unless you are on a killing spree. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment it, that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. <laughs> No, he lost his pupils. And his mind. He is sobbing openly on the stand. This makes me very happy. Mr. White. Cry more, bitch. Mr. White. I enjoy your tears. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor. I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! No, shut up! That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? Why? No, shut up! You don't have anything! Mr. White, I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? 
Huh? Wait, what? What? Whoa! I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. A wiretap? Oh, he's gonna pull out some like gross loophole, isn't he? Order, order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. <laughs> He's so slightly confused that he just cannot stop lying to you. Allow me to explain. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corps. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Oh, he saw it when he was tapping the fucking phone? Shut up. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's phone office. Am I correct? There is no evidence for this. Correct! You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Fuck off! Instant recovery! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Faye and Co. law offices. Yes, in order to not commit this crime, I committed this crime. That is when I saw that accursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Miss Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. <laughs> yes, that makes fucking sense. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to the office but well before the murder took place. When he went to place that wiretap, he could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. So it means fucking murder? <laughs> Literally. This guy's- we're literally writing on nothing but this guy's testimony that Phoenix Wright killed her. There is no other evidence that he killed her. And like, he has lied like 10 times. How are we still thinking that fucking Phoenix killed her? He will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Ahem, leave it to me. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fane Co. law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. I hate you. Correct, that is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. There's barely anything to go on here. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Why? Why did you tap me as phone? No, shut up. This is important. This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Lucor is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Uh huh. Glass light stand. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautitious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. There's nothing here! Uh... Beginning of September... No, it was the beginning of September! Uh... I got nothing! 
What? Uh, wake me up when September ends. D do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Bay's fo phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. All right. <laughs> I'm just pressing everything. Was it really you that went into the office or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the FA and Co. law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. You just said they were unidentified. I know Edgeworth. He's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fay and Co. law offices. Well, tell me I've run out of ammo. I have run out of ammo. There was no ammo to begin with. Tisk tisk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. This is bullshit! The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. Stop bowing at me! Huh? Hey, 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 Lena! Lena, you're just in time for some bullshit! I can't take this anymore. Legal bullshit! Mr. Wright! Are you giving up? Huh? Hey! Thanks for the follow, Miku, Miku, Miku Moxiv. That's a cute name, Miku Moxiv. Phoenix, you're not allowed to give up! I did not give you permission to give up! Huh? Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. Mia? Whoa, 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 whoa! You, you're, you're, you're literally dead. This is, this is the trial for your murder! You, like, got murdered! Why are you here? Never give up, Phoenix! Oh, wait, is this, like, a flashback? M M Mia! Uh, did Phoenix die? Where, where am I? Dead. They just dragged you out here. The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Okay, back the fuck up. What is this bullshit? Ah, oh, you're finally awake. Wait, did we die again? Fuck, Phoenix! Pull your shit together! Stop fainting! Gak? That's no way to greet an old friend. Why you just gak at each other? Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Look at my ridiculous lawyer outfit. My titties are just out there. My titties are even more out there. Jesus Christ, there's no bra anymore. You're... Maya? Didn't you know the Fey women had strong psychic powers? Oh man, we're going even further beyond bullshit. This is super bullshit too. When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. <laughs> and, and her chest grew 10 cup sizes that day. That's right, I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's why I came here to tell you. Honestly, good thing you're crossing your arms, or else it would just fucking spill all out there. And then there would be another arrest here today. But, but We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won. Huh? You have the receipts in the court record, right? Um, oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, right wrote that, wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. Huh? Holy shit, paper has two sides to it! Jesus Christ! Looks like it's from a famous department store. Why did nobody check this? Why did no one flip it over? $1,000, Jesus Christ. Item. Glass light stand? Who the fuck pays $1,000 for a light stand? September 4th. September 4th! That's right, Phoenix. I bought the stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. Oh, fuck! He couldn't have seen the stand because it wasn't bought yet! For a thousand dollars, Jesus Christ, who would, who would dump a grand on a light stand? These are some really expensive lawyers! There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. That's right! You just fucking died! You just died in my arms tonight! Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right! 
<laughs> I have gained the power of flipping paper over. Now I am unstoppable. Now I cannot be stopped. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather? Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, yeah, sorry, just some blood force trauma from when my head, head hit the floor, Your Honor. I'm fine now, except for my impending legal doom. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. Wright is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant Phoenix Wright. Hold it! Objection! I don't want to go to jail. Please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. I have some hookers to go back to, Mr. Wright. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Why are you asking the prosecutor? He has a vested interest to say no. Why would you ask him? We're only still in this because he's a smug bastard. You may begin your cross-examination. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Mm? I turned this paper over. You are so fucked. Objection. Objection. Capitalism. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Bah! <laughs> You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. This is gonna blow your fucking mind. The, the other side? Impossible! There's no other side to receipts. Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of the receipt? Sure, let me just touch this bloody paper. Wow! A glass light stand! And the date of purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder! Holy fuck! My blood pressure! You see, Mr. Wright, when you allegedly entered Bay & Co. Law Office at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there! Only your bullshit! Well, Mr. Wright, can't get out of this one, can you? No. It's impossible. That's not a fucking word. Oh, he's losing it. That was a very convincing pterodactyl death screech. Thank you, Abby. I appreciate it. Well, your honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. Financial pressure. He's li literally paying you millions of dollars straight into your ass. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Oh, oh, he knows about the millions of dollars directly into my ass. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of. Objection. Oh. Not so fast, Phoenix, right? Shut up! Why do you keep saying that? Stop saying Phoenix's full name. It makes you more annoying. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. He's edgy. <laughs> it's no use. There was a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. Maybe Mr. White committed a little murder as a treat. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. This is literally concrete proof. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. <laughs> I need to go make up some more bullshit. Let me just go fabricate some more evidence real quick. Also, ignore the weird shape of my hair, or I just have one large, thick, bald line going through the middle of my scalp. 
just look at my fucking hair. It's like parted like for several inches in the middle. It's just bald if you look from the top down. It's rather frightening. Don't look at it. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. Some bullshit. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is illegal. This is anime court. I'm not waiting and see what happens. What happens is you're going to get killed. He's going to shoot you. He's going to be like this objection gun. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> I'm rubber, you're glue. If anyone is going to call Mr. Wright White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. And if they do, I need to make sure that they don't. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. That's bullshit. No, that's so lame. After Mia showed up to help me and all. From the dead. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Rich murderer man who was giving me money to not go to jail. The witness will stay. Oh, oh, oh God. Her like cleavage is like poking out from her robes. Like you can see like the side view of her cleavage for like several inches. Jesus Christ. How is this allowed in a court of law? Mia! Yeah. Phoenix! Read this note out loud. Hopefully they won't notice that I just went through aggressive puberty in the last half hour. It was really aggressive. Mia, what's this? Memo received from Mia? Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. I already told you about my hookers! You bet I am! My life is riding on this one! I don't want to go to fucking jail, you dumb shit! How is this admissible as court? A ghost gave this to me. You have to accept this into the record. Take that! Take that. The Mimo me The Mimo Mia had given me was a list of names. I compare it to a kiss from a rose from the grave. Oh, the more of you, the stranger it gets. A yeah. yeah. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! I don't fucking get it. <laughs> Please stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? You might as well just be screaming how guilty you are, you dumb shit. Do you have no composure? Mr. White, shut the fuck up. Admit your guilt right here, right now. I will backhand you so fucking hard. Or else this list will be released to the press. And my fist will be released to your face. Oh, this is awkward. I confess. I, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Well, that was easy. Case closed, your honor. Well, what the fuck? I didn't win this. Mia won this. She just came back from the fucking de dead. <laughs> and Phoenix is just sitting there like, whoops, did I just win? I don't fucking know what's going on. <laughs> and Edgeworth is just like, I'm going to personally explode. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. I'm bored of this shit. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. That's right. Yes, yeah, sir, yeah, your honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. <laughs> Get it? Spirited? Because there's a ghost next to you? <laughs> Tip your waiter, folks. Yes, yeah, your honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited... Hey, Phoenix, I made the joke first. Fuck off. Well, this court finds the defense. Ahem, other defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty.
Not at all. This court is adjourned. What about the guy that just confessed the fucking murder in your court? What about that guy? Did you forget? Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations! You're lucky I was born a fae. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't have literal ghosts coming to save your ass, you would be rotting in jail. How does that feel? I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. You don't... You don't live at all. You're, you're, you're dead. You're, you're dead. As long as you live. My time here is running out. <laughs> it's a very short time. My powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No! There's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. <laughs> Because in this game, death beat means fucking nothing, as long as you have a ghost girl on your side. Chief! <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say nine. For another murder, murder part two? I'll see you later. Chief! Mia! So... When Mia leaves Maya's body, do you think, like, Maya's body is going to, like, stay, like, like, the, uh, uh, well, what's the word for it? Like, uh, you think, uh, Maya's body is going to stay, like, uh, <laughs> like that? <laughs> Like that? <laughs> like this? Man, I knew I kept this around for a reason. <laughs> putting this back. Just putting it back. <laughs> Voluptuous. Yeah, that's a good word. Thank you. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. The murder night. You came! Mia. I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? No! No! No, she's tiny again. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. Maya? What, did I look like my sister? Yeah, you were, like, taller and, like, cool at law and, like, boobs. Look like you were her! Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Do not impersonate a dead person! Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this! See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Also, I completely forgot a span of entire hours while we were at court. But that's okay. That's just the schizophrenia. She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? And who better but me? Maya Faye, reporting for duty. You are not dressed for law. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick. Maya here. Ready to get down to business. I love that Phoenix's nickname is Nick. That's good. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name! He has said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Maya is so pure. I love her. You know what this means? We're partners! You know, when I think about it, it's Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail! Fuck! Well, actually, if it wasn't for her, she would be in jail. Wait. No, if it wasn't for her, he would be in jail because that he would be the only one dependent on you. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Thanks, Maya! <laughs> what the fuck is that face, Phoenix? <laughs> what is that dumb fucking face? <laughs> God! Look at that dumb fucking face! I love it! He's just like, oh, oh, oh. I'll always be here watching. Even while you sleep. 
Right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Is she pulling an Ardbert? Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> yeah, another piece of uh, Phoenix's soul rejoined. Now he's like eight, 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 eight fourteenths rejoined. Yeah, yeah. Burgers, send me burgers! That's right, Phoenix, right? It's a fucking Asian. That's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Okay, wait up. And Phoenix Wright then became Maya's sugar daddy. Except he was just her burger daddy. A brand new episode is- I'm sorry, what? Turnabout Samurai? What the fuck do you mean, Turnabout Samurai? I thought this was bullshit already! Why is there Samurai? Rah! You have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai! The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood! What the fuck? The moon! No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon! For it will be the last moon you ever see! Where the- what the fuck happened to the law? See you in hell, evil magistrate! The warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. Who one has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. And the guy that didn't die. The dark messenger returns. You know, court, but with samurai. There was already a game for that! It's called Spirit of Justice! That rocked! See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa, stop waving that broom around. <laughs> this is so fucking weird, I love it. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here, I work here! What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? Phoenix Wright does not have a life. He needs to get out more and watch more anime. He's, the only, he's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like how young? Um, 10 years old? How old are you? What the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17! Oh. Huh. That's 17. See? I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. You're an old fucking geezer. Okay, boomer. You don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. This is lore. Then watch it with me. He's really cool, and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I don't really worry about kids these days. Phoenix, please. Kids always do that. Cramps! Well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. <laughs> We're going out of business. A month has passed since my trial. His murder was the talk of the town for some time. And no one paid any attention to the right and code law offices. We are now homeless. How am I going to pay the rent this month? With law. It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. <laughs> and then he walked around the corner. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Hello. Hello? This is Phoenix. Nick! Maya, what? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? I'm reminded of, um... I'm reminded of the picture of that uh, Sasuke cosplayer in handcuffs being led away by, like, three cops. You know that picture? Wait. Wait. Sasuke gets arrested. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, the, the, this this is what happened in this game. <laughs> it's this one. <laughs> he used a shine gun on too many people. <laughs> That's what happened. Maya saw that happen and she scarred for life. Yes! You're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Uh, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No, I mean, he actually did it in real life! He skewered a villain with his samurai spear! Aren't samurai supposed to have katanas? 
I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. What the fuck is this wee bullshit? Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick! Weebs be gone. Samurais do you use spears too? Oh shit. Katanas are fucking useless. They're not useless at looking fucking cool. I is here watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. Well, is it new or old? Make up your fucking mind. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. Get yourself a Naginata? No, 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 no. Naginatas are good. Naginatas are cute. Naginatas are cute because uh, the female protagonist of Persona 3 is this one. Naginatas are cute. That's, um, that's, that's my judgment. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. <laughs> Guess he really got fucking hammered. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Jesus Christ, that's gruesome. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. What the fuck? No, no, no. It's a nightmare. The steel samurai is over. The world is over. No more TV means no more good. Oh man, my favorite character, Cellular. Yes, right in co law offices. What? Nick! It's the steel samurai! <laughs> Oh my god, I see where this is going. This is gonna be so fucking weird. What? Yes, yes, of course, we'll be right there. Let's go, Nick! Go, go where? This fucking Tokyo. We need to dispense anime law on samurais. They have the steel samurai down in detention. So what? So I've decided this will be our first case. Look at that face. Did you really say no to that face? Could you really fucking say no to that face? No, no you cannot. He's using his ancient samurai telephone, yeah! Is there anything to examine here? She's perfecting her water torture technique! I was thinking I should go see it myself, then I realized that the poster doesn't actually say the title of the movie. Whoops. Okay. Uh, objection! What about this? <laughs> you like showing that off, don't you, Nick? My poor, poor ego. <laughs> Objection, I'm a lawyer. Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just uh, sit there like that? We have to go down to the detention center and meet the steel samurai. All right, let's fucking go. Let's go, let's go, let's go meet your favorite actor. Turned murderer. Whoa! Okay! Um, hi, Wolverine. What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him! Oh... He's got, like, a bush on his chest. That's, um... That's a, that's a very hairy man. Goodness. Will Powers, our client, that's him. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. Maya, you're not fucking helping! Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you saying? Um... <laughs> are you gonna put me in double jail? Because you're really fucking not helping. Something wrong? No, no! I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? Disappointed? No, no. Oh, no. I'm just scared. No, it's okay. This is the real me. I am very hairy. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know? I didn't want to wreck their dreams. With my wild body hair. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. <laughs> now their dreams are ruined because I killed a guy. Ooh, ah! Nick? What? He's a good guy! I mean, he's good! He hasn't killed anyone, not even once. Yeah. He didn't do it. 
That is admissible in a court of law. I'm just going to present Mia saying that she... I'm going to present Maya saying that he didn't do it, and then he's going to be like, not guilty! The cute girl said that. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. <laughs> the cast had come down to the global to the global studios for a run through. We went through a few action sequences at ten that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for five in the afternoon. When five came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the near the set. At that's a hole. That's a fucking hole! Jesus Christ! He could, uh, he could play mini golf on that chest. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> they took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer dead. He had been e expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I, that the steel samurai uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me what just what the steel samurai is. I need to know lore. Nick, how could you say such a thing? Because I'm an old fuck. I don't know shit. I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? You don't know this weep shit? How dare you? Do you even have a life? No, it's all right, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate, because they can't they can't stop hitting this dead horse until it stops spitting out money. Although, I guess he did de defeat him this time. <laughs> Wah! I see. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning, I came to the studios at 9. I fell over! He worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looked shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me- What the fuck? Why would they arrest him? He was napping. They'd be like, yeah, he killed him in his sleep. Why the fuck did they arrest him? He was asleep. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon in the murder. I'm action hero. What will the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. All right, Global Studios, I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go. Uh, nice pipe hoodie. You see, you see on his hoodie, he's got like a pipe symbol. Nice pipe hoodie. Oh, it's not even a hoodie, it's just a jacket. Hello, I'm here for your finest evidence, please. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show! Awesome! Aren't you excited? Oh. Old bag? Is it because she's an old bag, or is her name actually Old Bag? Hey! You there! You want in? You gotta go through me! No, I'm not doing this voice. I'm not doing this voice. I'm sorry, I'm not doing this fucking voice. I'm better than this. Oh, sorry! Her, her employers! I'm not doing this voice! I'm better than this! Oh yeah? Well that's great! I'm security! And it's my job to make sure that gakas like you stay out! Lyra, please no, I don't want to hear Toad yelling at me. Dahlia! Dahlia, what's wrong with Toad? Dahlia, don't you like Toad? <laughs> Dahlia, your princess is in another castle! <laughs> Dahlia, you're not breaking up with me! I love you! I love you! <laughs> Redeem to make Lyra use a voice. Wait, what the fuck? That's only supposed. Oh, right. 
It got used a second time because my stream disconnected. There isn't a toad filter, though. It's not in the list. There isn't a toad filter. There's no toad filter for me to use. Now, let me look at my filters to see if there's anything close to it. Okay, how about this one, right? That's not really toad, right? No, it's not. The wet toad was gone! Pray to toad sinners! Catch me his name! <laughs> You're all going straight to hell! And with no demon girl! Harem! Hit this, this fire! Fire harem! Bleh. Maybe I should keep playing the fucking game. <laughs> no, don't say anything else. And it totally makes infernal noises, right? It's like, ah! Ah! Lyra, I will pay you to stop doing this voice. I would totally taunt you to do that if you weren't fucking broke. Okay. I'm turning the I'm turning the filter off now. <laughs> I'm turning the filter off now. Gawkers! Sightseers! Tourists! I know the type you heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Youth today! Something horrible happens, all I can see is the Whoa. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait for you to be done. Okay, okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Um, n um, Nick, I can't read that fast. <laughs> Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. Actually, I've seen, I've seen what you grow up to be. I have seen what you grow up to be. And uh, it's better than this, don't worry. I don't know, it's possible. <laughs> Phoenix, you're not helping. Hey! Listen, when you're being spoken to, you today. I hate you so much. I'm just gonna go on your computer now. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey! No touching! Oh, her eyes disappeared. What's this? An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. Main entrance. There was a big scene here yesterday. Juan Lucas pressing up against the gates. And this suspicious unmarked van. Looks like a studio van. They probably used it to carry around film equipment. God, my fucking throat hurts. Okay, you know what? Uh, you made me do the fucking toad voice, so in return, I'm gonna go get a fucking drink. Be right back. One sec, let me just drink my orange juice. <laughs> you know, I have no idea what I sounded like with that filter on. So I'm gonna need to listen to it later to see just how accursed I was. Uh, I think that's everything. What is this white line? It's suspicious! Uh, Will Powers. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's very hairy! He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. He's just hairy, come on. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. In fact, there's absolutely no evidence saying that. Powers, of course, is guilty. 
How do I know? I know everything! That's my job. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from one in the afternoon to five when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is still to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him! But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Is he like a sleepwalker or something? So what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true, and then we kill them! In fact, in my younger days... No! You were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Well, how? This place has really gone downhill, you know? People getting fucking killed! People getting wiped out! But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams! Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy! The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Tell me about Hammer. Thanks for watching, Sangre. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. Oh, yeah. Look at that big smile. He's just got like a big smile. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. But there was an accident during a filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? No one to get in there. Actually, we're here at Mr. Powers' request. Hmph! I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. Lady here thinks she owns this place, obviously. I don't have a letter of request. I guess that's everything. Alright, let's go get a letter. Hello! How was the studio? It was locked. They all think I did it, didn't they? Don't they? No, no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Alright, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's an old bag! Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwigs at the studio. We'll let her see you stumble once and she'll never let it up on you. Ugh, she's got some nerve! Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course! There we go. Now we can get in. Also, your alibi? Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I never do that. Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady said she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I, I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Maybe, um... Maybe he was sleepwalking? Is that a thing? I know, I'm sorry. But I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? Interesting. Alright, we're going back. Eat this fucking letter in your face. Objection! I'm entering! Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. I think he would entrust his fate to youths of such unreliable appearance. Do you judge everyone? Really? Anyway, you may pass. It only left from here towards the studios. Now going to the right, that's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, or my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. There were maps at the security guard station. That's a very simple map. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you! Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! Did we give her 50 cents? Interesting. This is definitely gonna be used in the court case. 
orange juice. One sec. Oh, it's this himbo again. Hey, aren't you that murderer from the other day? <laughs> Do you not pay attention to the fucking outcomes of cases? Ah! It's that confused detective. Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's your fault. <laughs> How dare you tell the truth? You should have just let yourself rot in jail just to make him happy. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. <laughs> Objection, you suck. Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. <laughs> oh, man. Is Gumshoe gay for, for, for Edgeworth? Does he care about his feelings? He just wants to make him smile. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Why are you sorry? You're right, pal. It's all my fault. <laughs> I didn't I didn't keep I didn't make you go to jail. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I'll send you to jail next time, kiddo. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey! What exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey! You can't just go around saying pal like that. Yes, I can. That's my endearing character trait. I stole it, pal. I'd say he's a character, all right. Uh, let's look at this bench. A little bush. Maybe we'll take a short rest here. Hey, good idea, pal. Detective, aren't you on the case? Well, yeah, but... Hey, this detective's got tired of standing around too, pal. Hey, this is an endearing character trait, isn't it? Hey, there's a camera here. That's a security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went where. There's a number plate on the camera. ST1307. That must be the camera ID number. Oh, can we go ask the lady for the footage from this thing? I want it. Detective Gumshoe, what's down the path to the left? It looks like a tree fell down over the path. Oh yeah, that's way that way's kind of dangerous. You should stay out, pal. There's nothing down there anyway. There's totally evidence down there. That's where Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. They don't use it now, though. Interesting. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. He lost his fucking head. What kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to Studio 1, left to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. His head fell off. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday, and the head broke off. It took that tree down with it, too. Very convenient. Hmm. The entrance is Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked! Looks like you need a card key to get in. Makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. Well, I need this shit. Uh, hey, Gumshoe, give me a card key. How's your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. I mean, he was already going... He, he was almost going to tell me. All right, so, detective, mind if I t take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Time of death, uh, October 15th at 2.30 p.m. Cause pierced through the chest by a spear. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2 for 30 p.m. That person was none other than Will Powers. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the ma main gate. That's true. Anyone who would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence, really? But he was asleep! About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. <laughs> Are we talking about the same person? Oh no, she likes himbos. When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Powers said? She's a sucker for authority. Interesting. 
She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? Oh, that her photo. A photo of the steel samurai heading towards the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See that camera up on the gate, pal? Oh, we already examined that. Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence. We're finished! What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh ho 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 ho! Why does everyone want Phoenix to fail? Everyone just wants him to fucking perish. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Ha ha ha! Nick, let's go! We've got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. Stop fucking giggling to yourself. I hate you. Uh... Nick, look! That security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts! I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough that she doesn't need the teeth to chew them. <laughs> hey, you! Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? Uh... Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm, oh that. I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Just give me the fucking photo. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the, where, with the camera that took the photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. This guard station is in a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I see, seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one who did it, I don't know who is. Can I get the photo, please? Yeah! <laughs> good one, Sonny. Can I please get the fucking photo? You're going to bed, Dahlia? Thanks for watching. Love you. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio! Oh, yes! He was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate, it's a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? But the security camera. Oh, yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? And it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. I don't bother myself with those details. Can I please get the photo? I can just- I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Hmm. G give I want to touch it! 2.30. Yeah, uh... I guess it's time to leave again. Let's see if I can talk to the detective about... No, okay. Alright, to the... Wait, shit. Okay, it's one way. I got you. I got you. Now to the employee area. Nick! This is where they do all the behind-the-scenes stuff! Hey, look! There's Powers' dressing room! Uh, don't get so excited. We're looking for fucking evidence, please. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Very quiet here. There's a sign by the dressing room door. Will Powers, you must need to be the star and have your own room like this. Door to the dressing room. It's not locked. <laughs> not a souvenir! Evidence! Please, Maya! We don't need a spear! We need to pierce through to the truth. A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted so I can't see inside. Interesting. Uh, we're not looking at the laundry? The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates minus a steak. Hmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger! Oh, it's her character trait that she eats everything. I love her. Yeah, but I just have a second stomach just for steaks. Interesting. 
Let's see, cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh, it's so normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. Oh, hey, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Hmm. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? She's so endearing. Can I click on everything? I think I clicked on everything. Can I just go away? Oh, I can slide. I have a slide button. Ah! Ha -ha! Looks like someone fucking Metal Geared in here. The metal gray on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through there, I bet. Yeah, if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right! Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid! Well, you are a minor. You're 17. A grate they used to cover the drain. It's a little bent. I don't think it would fit if I tried to put it back on. Some something Something's up with this. Something's up with this. One of those electric-powered bicycles? I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? Makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? Oh, they cycle to get around places. Or, like, it's, it's, it's transportation. It's cheaper than a car and better than a car for, like, uh, pollution and stuff. There's a half-finished backdrop, backdrop for a stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo-Old Tokyo Castle. Uh, I'm done here. I don't like how quiet it is. It's really quiet. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're done here. So, can I go inside? I can go inside. Excellent. How is this dressing room? So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. Uh, look in the back! Hmm? This must be Powers' bag. Hey, don't open that. No, we're opening that for evidence! Look! An employee card key! That must be Powers'. It's a Studio One. Let's take it, Nick! Borrow it. You mean borrow. We totally have a warrant. I wonder what else is inside Powers' bag. Stop that! My partner, the thief in training. She's helpful. She's good. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry! You just had a burger! Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets! She just has like 50 stomachs. That's that's the Maya. That's the Fei way. She's so cute. I love her. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it is kind of dusty outside. Hmm. That's a detail. There's some there's some regular suits in the, amongst the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It, it'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say we're already wearing one myself. Hmm. <laughs> Let's not be religiously insensitive, Phoenix. They always have mirrors like these in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. <laughs> I have still applied a metric fuck ton of gel to my head. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Ooh! This is the wink he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie! That was weird to say. Nick, try this on! No. And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kind of like samurai movies. Kinda? Uh, well, we have a card key. That's progress, right? Okay, I'm pretty sure we're done here. As far as I can tell. Alright, let's go. To the main gate. To outside studio one. Uh, let's go inside. 
Entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go and check it out, Nick. Nick. I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. Fuck yeah, it works. We're going. All right, bye. Have fun. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Like, yeah, dude fucking died here. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape. It's so, so real. Someone fucking died. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Uh... Wow, look at that camera. That must cost, cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Don't touch it, fuck! Hey, you, no touching that! Wait, I love you. Wait! Wait, I love you! Uh, I'm sorry. My partner is kind of, you know... You know? No, I don't know! Um, who are you? Oh, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff. Moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. God, you are so adorable, and you better not be the fucking killer. Please don't be the killer. My lawyers representing Mr. Mr. Willpowers. Maya, you're not a lawyer. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Willpowers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you, you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. Uh, let's keep looking around. Oh, look at that camera. That must... Don't touch it. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. That looks so low quality. Low budget. That's the mountain, Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo Old Tokyo. So I got the fucking lore right. I need to die. Lore wrong, I mean. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. It's just a fucking ladder, Phoenix, please. So what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. She's right, actually. She, she is right. Right, sorry. <laughs> she is right. Hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone, a real live megaphone. Ready, Nick, action. This girl has more trouble than I thought. But she's cute, she's not troubled, she's adorable. Also, her sister died right in front of her, so. What's this? That's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? The well, lighting is fine, but I'd want to be the director. Or maybe the Steel Samurai. I think she's being serious. What's in this box? Nothing? Okay. Well, let's take a look at this. He outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. That is a good point, isn't it? Interesting. Can't look in here. Okay, I think I've examined everything. Let's talk to the cute girl. Did you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. I fell! In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. Employee area, that's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. Hmm... After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. I saw WP go into his dressing room. I didn't see either of them after that. 
Interesting. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private. What kind of what kind of a girl do you think I am? Well, what kind? No, no, I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. WP was the only one who came to the studio. And he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Maybe we should get the fucking photograph. Sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but the day just after that day, just after noon, I sense someone was here. You sense? Yeah, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe. No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, hey, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. I'll put the security lady on the spot. Yeah, yeah, what do you mean by sense? What is this sensing? So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew is in the studio? Yes, I think. Nick, what about that security lady? Oh, I just had to talk to her again. Sorry. Uh. All right, let's go back. You got anything? You do not got anything. Let's go. Hello, you old bag. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go he through here between those times? Sure as can be. We have a witness who thinks that someone was f from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her! She's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are like that nowadays, running your mouths like there was no tomorrow, saying this and that and the other thing. When I was young, it's all the dumbest of them respecting your elders. The shame that you're new to the crowd. Oh. What a fucking child, Jesus. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can about her looking over our shoulders. Ooh. Nick, maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Let's go, let's go. You know how to work these things, Nick? It's just a fucking computer. Okay, I just had to enter in a few numbers. Camera turned on at 1 p.m. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Fuck. Fuck, what was it? I'm gonna go with 703. Entered. Nothing happened. Fine, I'll go look. 307? Oh, 307. Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. That's fucking creepy. <laughs> Looks like something out of a fucking horror game. I like that. I, I I don't like that. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Cover 15, 2 p.m. photo number 2. How is this photo added? Okay. Wait, 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 what about photo number one, though? 
Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave your credit for you. We need to stop talking to people. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. See, the reason why I ended up being, like, accused of murder in the last episode is because I went and ran to my mouth to that guy who then punched me in the fucking face. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. Interesting. No, 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 no. I think I'm going to end it here. Yeah, I'm going to end it here. It's a little early, but I mean, this is a save point and it is 10 p.m. Um, yeah, today's stream was really active, but I got to find out why every single stream I just drop to zero bit like transfer rate and I just completely disconnect from stream. Just like at once every single stream it happens. And then I just end the stream, and then I restart the stream, and then it's fine for the entire rest of the stream. Just once per stream, it just completely disconnects for no reason. And, like, the internet still works, too, so it's weird. Uh, anyway. Okay. That's it for stream, everyone. We'll do more tomorrow. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.